Hello again, my name's John. I'm a retired chef from the northeast of England in the UK and welcome to my latest video. And as promised in my last video, the stunning seeded farmhouse loaf, I'll be making this delicious creamy onion, potato and ham soup recipe. You can view the ingredients list and full written method for this recipe on the recipe page on the channel's website. I'll leave a link in the description under the video or you can click on the eye icon top right of the screen to take you directly to the recipe page. And I'd like to thank the Patreon and PayPal supporters for their very kind help. I'll be doing the shout out and name splash a little later in the video. OK, let's get on with today's recipe. Right, to make a good soup you need a good stock base. Either chicken or ham is ideal for this recipe. Now I'm boiling this small ham so I'll be using this as my stock base. If you don't have any chicken or ham stock available you can always use chicken, ham or vegetable stock cubes. But natural stock is always best. Now this is not a video recipe for boiled ham by the way, but if you're interested I simmered this small ham on a very low heat for two hours. And the stock from it is absolutely perfect for our soup. Probably the hardest part of this recipe is grating the two potatoes, but rather than go through everything here's a picture of all the ingredients together. It's a very simple recipe. Just make sure that grating the potatoes is your last job when preparing these ingredients or the potato will start to discolour after 5 minutes or so. Right, I have all the prep done, now I'll move over to the stove. Right, I have the stock up to a simmering point. And the first ingredient I'll add is the roughly chopped onions. Next to go in is the grated potatoes. And once you add the grated potatoes it immediately starts to thicken the soup. And now add the half teaspoon of black pepper. I purposely didn't include a specific amount of salt in this recipe as there is enough in this ham stock for me. But have a taste of yours to see if it needs any. It probably will if you're using a chicken stock base. Don't add any of the other ingredients at this point. Just bring it back to a low boil and allow it to simmer for 10 minutes. OK, it's been simmering for 10 minutes and it's time to blend it all together using my hand blender. I blitz it until I have a smooth consistency. If you're interested in the make of this powerful blender, I'll leave a link in the description box and on the recipe page. They are a bit pricey, but I believe they come with a lifetime guarantee. Not being sponsored by the way, they're just a great product and I've had this one for years. Now you don't have to do this stage if you don't have a hand blender or if you simply don't want to, but I find it much tastier making it this way. But now I can add the ham. Note I've pulled the ham rather than cubed it. I like the texture better doing it this way. Purely a matter of choice. And you can of course use cooked chicken if you prefer. Next to go in is the chopped chives. These are more for appearance than taste as they basically have a mild onion flavour. You could use other herbs like finely chopped parsley but the stronger taste of the parsley would distract from the onion flavour too much. Finally I'll add the double cream. You may know this as heavy cream. And in my humble opinion this is what makes this soup special. You can use single or light cream if you wish but double is definitely better and smoother. I'm not adding it all to the soup. I'm saving a little bit for when it's in my bowl. Perks of the job. Right, I'll stick the lid on and let it simmer for 5 minutes and that's it done. How easy was that? 
before I go any further, I hope you don't mind if I give my very first recipe book a bit of a plug. The book has lots of our favourite recipes from our work kitchens in it and is available in the channel's website shop along with loads of other equipment I use in the videos. I leave a link in the description box below the video or just click on the eye icon top right of your screen if you want to order a copy today. It's just another way you can support the channel. Thanks very much guys. Right, it's been simmering on a very low heat for five minutes and it's ready to serve. So I'll ladle out a bowl and give it a try. It looks fantastic and smells absolutely divine. Another advantage of this soup is that it's extremely easy to make. You don't have to be a great cook to make this dish and with the winter approaching fast it's definitely one to have in your armoury. Kids love this soup too because there's no big lumps of vegetables or onions in it. First I'll add a few more chopped chives to the middle of the bowl as a garnish. And as I mentioned earlier, and to make it a bit richer, I'll drizzle a bit more of that double cream in. And it's at this stage we would normally serve this to our customers, so why not follow this protocol at home with your family? OK, here we go. And this soup is absolutely delicious. And now I'll try it with some of the crusty half whole wheat seeded farmhouse loaf that I made in the previous video. If you haven't seen that one yet, I'll leave a link in the description box below and at the end of this video. It really is a stunning loaf of bread and it's a no need recipe. OK, I'll have a dip. And this is simply a fantastic combination and a meal in itself and so simple to make. And you get quite a lot of soup in this recipe. It'll keep in the fridge for a few days or you can freeze it in portions. And I'm pretty confident that you and your family will give both of these recipes a big thumbs up too. And as promised at the beginning, here is the latest list of my Patreon and PayPal supporters. And they are Treasure Island Baking by Tia Van Deest, Mark Whelan, Gareth Sayers, Kate Bartolome, Lawrence, Gabrielle Armstrong, Serena Ackeroyd, Chris Warburn and finally Rob Abram. Thanks very much guys, I really do appreciate all that you do in supporting the channel. Well thank you again for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the circle above. If you do subscribe, activate the bell icon next to the subscribe button on my channel page. And by doing that, you'll be automatically notified every time I upload a new video. And in the meantime, here's a few of my other videos and playlists that you may want to watch. So, until the next time, be safe in your kitchen and bye for now.